you know, as much as I love my Honda Jazz. There might come a day where I'll have a wife, two kids probably, and the Jazz will be too small. And so I might have to let go of the Honda Jazz. But you know, Honda does have an answer for that. And I think it's the BRV. So the BRV has been around for quite some time. In fact, this is the facelift model that was released last year. And I gotta say, like Honda really kept up with the times. You know, with like the refreshed uh, HRV, with the refreshed Honda Civic, and the refreshed CRV, and like this new headlight, this projector headlights, and we got the uh, fog lights over here. It, it's the classic way of differentiating between like the mid trim and the high trim. So the BRV lineup starts at 1.035 million pesos, and then it goes up to this one, the, the top of the line. This is a uh, 1.155 million pesos. So it's. It's, you know, it's getting close to the 1.2 million peso mark, but it's not bad because when you consider the top-of-the-line subcompact cars hitting a million pesos, you add 200,000 pesos more and you get so much space and you get like a, a good amount of ride height, especially like, you know, if you're dealing with bad roads. And it's, it's just as well equipped as this one. Like what I said a while ago, if you're in the market and you were initially looking for like something like the Jazz or the City, but you already know beforehand that, okay, I'm gonna need a little more space. I'm gonna need a, uh, a little bit more ride height, you know, because I'm gonna have like a lot more people riding this. Because we have to admit, the City and the Jazz, they're, they're like the perfect cars to drive if you're like a yuppie or you know, you're know you driving alone or you're bringing a date or you know, you're newly married. But if you're already considering I'm going to have kids, I'm going to be hauling like, or, or you're going to be hauling a good amount of cargo, the BRV is the car you want to look at. So when you step inside the Honda BRV, you can see the corporate design they're going for. You know, very similar interior. You know, it has those nice sharp lines. It's very driver centric. And then when you go to the passenger side, it's very sleek. One big plus of the Honda BRV on the V variant is it comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. If I say it once, I'll say it again and again and again. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay has to be the new standard for 2020 because it integrates like what we use every day, which is our smartphones. So manufacturers, if you're listening, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, standard. Got me? Okay, so just like the dilemma a while ago, you have a family of four and you know, you might be adding more people or you need something that can haul a lot of people but you don't want to spend too much on a, like a huge SUV, the Honda BRV might be the solution for you, you know? This can fit seven people. So the question is, will I fit at the back or is it really just going to be for children? <sighs> Surprisingly, Uh, let's remove this here uh, for the sake you can see me. Surprisingly, I can fit at the back. It's nice to know that if you're from the back, you can like help yourself. Uh, yeah, but yeah. So if I'm here, like so you can visual, so you can visualize what's happening. So yeah, like what I said. So like three fingers. So that's like three inches worth of like room. But then yeah, shoulder. I have broad shoulders, so maybe two slimmer. Filipinos can fit here at the back. So yeah, even if you deploy like all the seven seats, there's a good amount of luggage space over here. It's like uh, like the Pelican cases you see around these seven camera shops. So there, so that's another way to deploy the seats. So now you have like a huge trunk space. Okay, so yeah, so this is like how you're able to get the trunk space if you're a five-seater. And then uh, if you wanna maximize like the length, you're gonna leave this, you can leave that down. You can like, maximize length but if you also notice like the past there's like a dip of cargo space in the passenger side over there if you want to get a little creative you can put those down you can put those up so you have like a big a huge pocket here as you can see like a huge pocket of storage over there but as you can see just like any other Honda the Honda BRV it's like it's very versatile when it comes to the interior space. This is the driving impression of the Honda BRV. 
Yeah, so let's go. So it's a 1.5 liter gasoline engine paired up with a CVT. So how does it feel to brake inertia? With it? So we're here to stop and then let's say we want to go, right? Okay, so if I floor it, not so bad. Like you can feel a little struggle at the start, but it's not so bad. For like for 1.5 and for something like it's a small SUV. But like uh, if if you press the pedal like you know smoothly, look what happens. It's a very capable uh, drivetrain. You know the engine and the CVT work well together. What I like about Honda in general, and like it's evident here even on the BRV, is that simplicity makes you focus more on driving. So, like, the design's nice, and but when you like look deep into it, it's simple. Like, especially here, the instrument panel, it's nice. The they use like um, on the, a monochrome theme, which I like, and it's just so clear. Like when you're looking at the instrument cluster over here. And like the steering wheel, you're not thrown with a lot of buttons. So on this one, this is like the top trip. Buttons you have here is channel plus minus, volume plus minus, and mode. You know? Because it makes sense. Like if you're gonna control this control what's on the screen, you might as well press it on the screen and then leave the steering wheel as you know as uncluttered as possible. So the engine and transmission is fantastic for you know this kind of a vehicle. The steering wheel, uh, it's on the light side. So when it comes to capability, I'm sure that, you know, for most reasonable things, so like soft road, very minor off road, uh, and city, especially city use, especially when you have bad roads, the BRV, no question, like this will make sure that you get through without a problem. Just nice to be driving it again, you know, like it's kind of meeting, like for me, it, sorry, like, but for me, it's like meeting an old friend, the BRV. Because it's been a while since I've driven this car. And I say, like, my impression, my initial impressions then and, like, now, they still hold. Like, this is a good car for those, you know, this falls under the if you're only allowed to have one car category. And where this excels at is price and the amount of space you get from it. Oh, and also ride height. So if you're looking for those three things, this this is the car that, you know, that, that kind of hits the it's the mark on you. If I were to condense everything about this one, the on the BRV, uh, it's like the greatest hits of Honda because, like when you drive it, it has some fun to it, like the the brio, and uh, it has the practicality of the of the CRV, and then it has the ease of driving of a Civic. You know, it gets the the greatest hits of Honda like from their other cars and uh, wraps it into one which is the BRV so who's the Honda BRV for it's for those who want to keep things compact and at the same time they have needs that only the SUV category can fulfill which is seven seater and the uh, ride height and the BRV is both those things so if you're looking for that kind of a car the Honda BRV should be on your radar.